Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and previously on The Wind Waker, we, um, we got this really cool hammer right here. The Skull Hammer. Set this mightiest of mallets to and use it with Y, Z, or X. It can smash objects and break through barriers, but apparently not the one on the other wall. Strike the ground with it to stun enemies with a shockwave. But does it do it with a flash? Or just a shockwave. Yeah, that's it for now. So we got that hammer. It looks like this. I guess I could have shown that before. Um, yeah, it looks like that when you... And you can cut grass with it, too. Well, less cut and more like... Obliterate, I guess. What else did we do? Oh, we went to see Ganon. Or Ganondorf in this game. I think... Yeah, I think he's Ganondorf in this game. We went, to, we went to see him in the Forsaken Fortress, and he told us that our Master Sword uh, was dull, and it won't hurt him. So uh, we had to go down here and tell it to people that made it, apparently. So um, now we're going to take Tetra into there to see what that voice was that talked to us through the stone that was apparently only supposed to be used by a Link and Tetra. Come, my partner, and let's go into here. I I tried to instinctively click down on the left analog stick to run. Yeah, no, that's not a thing in Wind Waker. But you know what game it is a thing in? Xenoblade X. Pretty fun game. There's some problems I have with it, but... I'll save those for later. Are you him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me. That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. <laughs> you made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard of the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero, the place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place, where the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. Oh, oh I hope I didn't spoil that before. And I am its king. Daphne's no Hans and Hyrule. Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guides you here. I am the King of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. Oh, I guess it's Ganon. I don't know. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power, although great, it alone could not stop the fiend, and our only chance was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with the torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet, all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So, before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountains. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me.
This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from Ganon's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live, your role in this world. My fate. You are the true heir to the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link, I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is in- Oh wait. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child. In an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses, he will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world that you know above the waves. Hmm, kind of sounds like another game, maybe. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this darkest, in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon, but I thought he's I thought he knew when it was the Master Sword was pulled out of the pedestal. Oh well. It'll be fine. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Yeah, it'll be perfectly fine. Don't worry. Link, we must go. Oh, okay. Wait, he teleported. Is he a ghost? Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Link, be careful. Oh, now this thing goes back on there. I didn't know that. Well, see you later, partner! Yeah, we're just gonna go out here. Yep, this is the right way to go. Wee! Oh no, never mind. Ah, I'm so used to the Wii U gamepad. 
Link. Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north, in the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages, and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here, and Hyrule, that's the barrier that people tried to do barrier skip on and succeeded eventually. Blocking our path to the temples. Now you just have to be a speedrunner. But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Can I just say, or what I've noticed about Zelda in this game is that she has, like, yellow-green hair or something? Which, I don't know. I don't personally like it. I feel like it was better when she was Tetra. Just, you know. I mean, if someone likes yellow-green hair personally for them, that's fine. But, like, I just really don't like that design choice very much. But I don't like yellow-green anyway. Plus, I noticed this a while after. After I got to that part. Like, a few years ago, I noticed. Oh, Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. That's the Ocarina of Time Link, by the way. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know, they lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. The Triforce of Courage is the only key that will once again open the doorway to Hyrule. You must search for it. Search and find we shall. Whoops. We can pull up this sea chart here. We have to go here and then all the way up there. Uh, I, I can't use the d-pad to use the menu. I keep forgetting, or I, I, I forgot, now I have, I'm just not used to Zelda, okay? Someone pointed out that uh, Zelda actually has white skin rather than the brown that Tetra has. And I just thought that Tetra was just really tan. But like, but once they pointed that out, I was like, ah, yeah, that's kind of disappointing that there's no actual brown Zelda because that would be really cool. I mean, there might be, I just don't know. But for a, at least one Zelda to be, to not be white, that would be really cool. And it's kind of disappointing that that wasn't the case. So where do we want to go now? Well, actually, ah, you know what? Instead of doing this, let's, uh, I'm trying to use the D-pad again. Let's go, let's teleport again and do a thing that I was going to do before. We have to do this actually first before the next story progression. But I want to do a little side stuff today. This music reminds me of the Clockwork Soldiers room in um, 
Luigi's Mansion. Tee hee, greetings, child. Tee hee, it seems the door to your fate has already swung open, has it not? I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter? Does not that not surprise you, child? I like you. And so, I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. Powers of fire and ice have been added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, use R to change arrowheads, then fire away! Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child, I must tell you, you are just my type. Tee hee hee. <laughs> and, well, that's basically it. Now we can go away. This time... Actually, I want to go grab something on Windfall Island. Where is that? Right here? No, right there. Yep, that's right there. Oh, and by the way, that's the only way you can leave that island. So, yeah, you have to do that. Oh, we have a letter! Insert Loose Clues letter thing. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have one letter! Here is your letter! I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we only have one of each! If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rock Spire, Spire Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you! To those who took the time to read this letter, Please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager Rock Spire Shop Ship. You got a green rupee. That's worth one rupee. You better collect lots of them. Yeah, okay, great, thanks. We'll keep that in mind. Um, anyway, something that I really hate. Oh, I can't zoom the camera out. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind, I can. I forget it doesn't rotate around. I, I forget that it... Yeah. It rotates, it doesn't rotate around characters and you don't have to push the L button and pull it out every time you teleport, or however it is, I don't remember. Oh, and there's no, there's no running, this is so slow. We gotta go to the top. Where is it? Oh, there's no map, I forget there's no map. Oh wait, no, we have to go back behind here. Anyway, I'm doing this wrong. Um, so we have to go up here. I remember having so much trouble with this part. Main thing that I don't like about, like in uh, Xenoblade X, is um, oh, when we have to go up here and push this button. Main thing I don't like, and that gets the windmill turning. Main thing I don't like is how um, wait, it doesn't spin. Oh, we have to do the wind, change the wind. Um, main thing I don't like is um. Bose's just a racist creep. He's terrible. I don't like it that they're that he's a party member. So what I did is I um after his affinity mission that I accidentally Oh there we go. Did it correctly. That time. After his affinity mission that I forgot that um he was that I accidentally did and forgot that he was a horrible person. I um as punishment, oh, I didn't even know that he was racist at this point. I thought he was just a, just a creep. 
Uh, I took, after it was done, or no, what I did is I put, um, I gave him, um, what was it? I gave him a snorkel? I gave him a snorkel? Oh, we have to go over here. Oh yeah, we have to go in this place. A snorkel, a turtleneck, and swim trunks to just make him feel bad about what he, about how, just how creepy is he is. And then it ended up also making him feel bad about being racist. And then after the whole thing was done, I actually sold all of his armor and dequipped his default weapons. Of course, uh, you can't have someone without weapons and they just have different, they just get different placeholder weapons, but still I figured, ah, it's, it's good enough. Plus, a lot of the times the weapons characters have are like really good, so I, I ended up keeping them. Oh, I need to do this. So I ended up keeping the weapons only because they're, oh, I think I have to go back here, only because they're generally, like I said, really good. Um, and they could come in handy. But yeah, I sold all of his, all of his armor to make him feel bad as punishment for being a racist creep. Anyway, um, let's talk about something else much more happy and positive. Um, how do I get up here? Oh, I have to go in here, I think. Yeah. I, I don't remember how to do things. Oh, do you say anything? Ugh. Well, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Someone must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. I mean, not everyone is, obviously. Uh, well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. Yeah, because I'm gonna turn it back off when I'm I'm done with this. I'm kidding. You can't do that. Actually, I wonder if you change the wind, it'll probably turn off. You can jump on into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man. It's fun. Um. Okay. So now we gotta jump up here. Oh, I accidentally jumped up onto the thing. Oh, whoops. I forgot that it says that. I thought it would say beep. Or I thought it would just beep. Now we gotta turn these, turn this light on up here. What I found is that it's much easier, guides that I've found say to do it from here. But just, I found that it's much easier to, um, we have to change it to night. Oh, that, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, right, left, down. Oh. And now, this starts spinning around, and we can jump, can jump, up here. Yep, we can jump up here, and then, oh. grab, The switch to fire arrows and then do that it's far easier than trying to line up the um, seats with um, with the spinning thing at the top and that reviews re reveals a treasure chest oh that must be blinding that must yeah must hurt his eyes um. Whoop. My controller's not quite working right now. That's not good. Oh, and the 
the things going right through Link's face. I think it's this way. Oops. Oh, you know what time it is? It's exploit the soup time. Wait, we have another letter? Why do we have another letter? Good evening! Letters for Link! We have two letters. Two letters. I I don't remember having two letters at one time. Here's your letter. This parcel has, has been sent cash on delivery. Is this... Is this Tingle? I think this is Tingle. Postage due is 201 rupees. Will you pay? Yeah, sure. Yep. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person, thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed is an incredible chart. This chart will show you where you can find the treasure charts. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They are my favorite kind of charts. And also, sir, have you been checking your tingle chart? Have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. So yeah, we get the incredible chart. And so that tells us the location of all the Triforce charts. You got... Oh, I guess I should actually read it out loud. Read it properly. Properly in air quotes. You got the incredible chart. Now you know where all the Triforce charts are hidden. That's positively incredible. Press D-pad up to check your charts to view it. Here is your letter. Oh, this is Link's sister. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared. But they're all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy. But ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean. But he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. He, as usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take good care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. Oh, 20 rupees. Nice. So we need to go over there, actually. Oh, I forgot to exploit the soup. Wait, no, it's like this. Yeah, there we go. I exploited the soup, I think. Yep, now we need to... Now we use our hands for the sometimes linking verbs. Amazar was for... Uh, I don't remember all of them right now off the top of my head, but yeah. Um, oops. Now we need to open this chest to see what's in it. I genuinely do not remember what is in here. Hopefully it's something good, though. Oh, a piece of heart. That's really nice. Two more to complete a heart container. All right. Sounds good. Um, oh, and by the way, this should go without warning, without saying, but absolutely no Xenoblade X spoilers in the comments. I will be deleting them. This is a strict no spoilers um, warning. Or no spoilers allowed. Ah, uh, you know what I can do? I can go um, turn some of those in. Get something else. Oh, that's right. That character. Okay, we can do this right now, I think. There's that character up there. I don't remember her name. But we have to be... Uh, we have to stealth around here. I need to go. This is a stealth mission. 
Shh. Take off. Go away. All right then. I almost I tried to click the analog stick in again to run. I keep forgetting that's not a thing. Do I have to talk to you in the daytime? Hey you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, that won't do. That won't do at all. Already I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um. Welcome to you, sir. This way to Windfall's outdoor shop. Chock full of fun and happy products. Uh, okay. Seems a little suspicious. Oh, you're the fine young gentleman who gave me a joy pendant present. How could I forget? How many did you give me again? One? My, but that wasn't nice. What wasn't that nice? So what can I do for you, young man? Eh, nothing right now. I see. So you know what we're gonna do? Give you more. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 34? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Oh, your teacher is imp very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like? I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all flutter. I don't know if you know, but my 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promised, I'll reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you... A wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. Link's eyes are still open, though, but uh, anyway. You got the cabana deed. It's written in on yellowed parchment. It looks quite old. You see, although I'm but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately, I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. It's all right, dear. You can stop gazing in amazement now. Um, are gaping in amazement? I, I don't remember. Now that you have this, now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So, whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I am getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now, I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And, just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little island near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Alright, we won't. Wait, can I give you more? Hmm, are you giving these to me as well? But I told you I was perfectly satisfied with the 20 you gave me before. But my, you are such a persistent little dear. Since you are so insistent, I will accept them happily. Fine, I have no choice but to unleash pure joy on you. Prepare for an onrush of joy the likes of which you'll never, you've never imagined. How many joy pendants have you brought? Fourteen? My goodness, when I put these together with the ones you have already brought, may they add up to a whopping thirty-five. Oh, thank you, thank you, I'm so joyful. Oh, that doesn't do anything. But I actually will eventually. I, th I think you just have to keep giving them to her. Um. Um. By the way, how was your cabana? Have you been to see it yet? It's next to the Triangle Island, south of here. Don't forget, dear. But, like, she just said that she has a cabana, and then she said it's mine. This is NFTs all over again. Actually, no, before. Before they existed. This is... This is the original NFT. But, act, but at least in this case, we actually get to do something with this. Oh, no. The guy that used to live... The guy that used to be rich is now poor. Hmm, and who might you be? Why do I get the strange feeling that we've met before? Ah, it's you. The little boy who promises big promises and then fails to deliver on them. Hmph, too bad you couldn't save my daughter. I thought I did. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear Milo was saved by a group of kind pirates. I, I, I did save her though. I, I got rid of the bird. 
The pirates had a leader, Tetra. I believe she said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. Well, at least uh, there's a photo gallery down there. Art gallery down in rock bottom. But yeah, you, you're going to have a hard time catching a bus out of there. But my little Myla is alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. Yes. Indeed. People are more important than money. And I'm not just making a joke there, I'm actually serious. Uh, where's... oh. oh there we go, whoops. No. We need that there and that there. How much time do we have? I think I can go a little longer. Since I haven't really done much. Um... There we go. Now I'm gonna teleport and do a little thing here. Uh, no, I need Dragon Roost. There's Dragon Roost. Oh, that kid is just spinning around. All just faster than light. Actually, no. Wait, no one would see us if we're if everyone else is stopped, and we're just spinning around really quickly. So, um, yeah, now where is it? Where is that thing? Where is the place? I think it's down here. I'll see you in a l no, it's right over here. I'm just gonna say, I'll see you in a little while if it's not here. It's right up here. Um,. This is pretty good music. Sometimes I get tired of the sailing music, but I mean, other times it's like, oh, this is really nice to listen to. Do so you see this volcano? Yeah, we're gonna go into the volcano. Oh, there's a fish. I'm gonna go feed the fish now. And he'll tell us about the this island right here. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island? Then stop by opening up your sea chart. Do, 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 do. You see that the volcano that the volcano that's. You see that the volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure inside, hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting out of the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden, or so they say. Maybe it's not correct, maybe it's not accurate, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you won't hear it again, you'll have to throw me some bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't- oh yeah. And with that, he's off. And we gotta go. Stop. 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 Let's jump out. Oh, that does actually hurt. Do there's no way to stop you. Um, we have to swap modes. Swap it to ice arrows. And then shoot it. Oh, I missed. There we go. Now we have to hot foot it into the volcano before it melts. Let's go! Please don't attack. Yep. 
Where is it? Oh, now it's raining. Oh, okay, here it is. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoopsie. Yeah, there's a... There are fake ledges that they try to get you to... to go on, up on to, to waste your time. I mean, this is actually legitimately a time section, so I can see why they would want to have you do that. Oh no, go, hurry, Link. There isn't much time. Oh, no! Oh, it's getting dark. Okay, now I'm back up here. No, please don't. Ah, uh, run. Run, Link. No! Ugh. I hope those enemies stay dead. Wait, are we? No, we're not. No, they're not dead. Where's the other one? Okay. Okay, good. Now, that's done. Get rid of that keys. Now the battle for the treasure of Volcano Island is complete. All we have to do is open the chest. You got the power bracelets! Both arms are now stronger than ever! Press A to grab and lift objects! And we can leave. And the timer's gone, so the architect must have turned it off to let us exit this dungeon. This mini dungeon. Shrine. I guess. More like Breath of the Wild Shrine. I guess. Um, to let us leave at our own pace. So yeah. Not, not that we need that much time because it's like right behind this uh, headstone. This is the power of a god. Mere mortals can't lift these heads. So yeah, the exit's right here. We didn't need that much time. Did you notice that I referenced like four game four different games there? Oh and jump link jumped twice. No, please please stop making that noise. I don't like the birds. No. Alright, you know what? There. Perfect. Alright, I think I think that's about all that much time all the time that we have for this episode. I hope it didn't seem too short. I mean there was like quite a bit of uh there were quite a few cutscenes in this one, so I hope it was entertaining enough. So yeah, I I think that's good for for this time. Uh see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now. Oh no, it's storming that, but what's nice about that is electric weapons will do more damage. Yay! Yay! Whoops. Alright, I'm done. Usually I don't actually talk at the ending part, but this time I felt it was a good idea because it's storming. And it would be funny.